Hello everyone. If you want to show the sales distribution across different regions, then making a 3D donut chart in Excel is the best option for you. Moreover, it can be used for budget allocation, market share analysis, and survey results. So this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi, and today we'll learn five steps on how to make a 3D donut chart in Excel. So what is a donut chart? We can have a basic idea about the donut chart from its own name. In a donut chart, we can represent a data of each cell as a slice of a donut. Moreover, donut chart can be used to describe the interrelationship of a part of the data to the whole data. Before going into the steps, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the expenses, the amount, the percentage and difference in column B, C, D and E. We'll be using Microsoft Excel 365 for this video. So without any further discussion, let's get started. At first, we need to calculate the percentage and difference in column D and E. So we'll go for the D5 cell, we'll insert the C5 and divide it with the sum of the values of C5 to C9. And to make it permanent, we'll use F4 in the keyboard. After closing the parenthesis, if we click the enter button, then we've got our perfect result. Let's use the fill handle to get the same result for every cell. Now we'll go for finding the difference. To do that, at first we'll go for the E5 cell and here we'll try to find the difference from 100%. So write down 1 and subtract D5 from it. If we click the enter button, then we have got our perfect result. Let's use the fill handle again to get the same result for every cell. So that's our first step. To insert a new shape, we'll go for the insert tab. In the illustration section, we'll go for the shapes and here we'll select the hollow shape. Now we'll insert the area where we want to get our perfect shape. To format the shape, we need to right click on it and here we'll select format shape to open the format shape window. Afterward, we'll move on towards the effects option. Here we'll go for the 3D rotation and as presets, we'll select the parallel section where we'll get the top up section. After that, we need to set the X, Y and Z rotation also. So we'll set the 330 as X. Now we'll set the 310 as the rotation of y and we'll also set the 35 as the rotation of z. After that, we'll go for the 3D format, we'll select it and in this section, we'll go for the width as 13 and height as 6 and here we'll find the depth option where we'll select our 6 as depth. If we click on it, then you've got the perfect result. Next, we'll move on to the shadow section. Here you'll go for the presets and you'll select the perspective section. So if you go down there, you'll get the perspective section here and in this section, you'll go for the upper left. After that, you'll move on to the upper left section and you've got the perfect result here. In our third step, we'll move on to the addition of a pie chart. So select the D5 and E5 cell go for the insert tab and in the chart section we'll go for insert pie or donut chart if we click on it then we've got the perfect 2d pie chart here after that we'll go for the chart elements and untick every chart title or legend to get here this kind of result after that if you right click on the empty section then you'll get the format chart area option if you click on it then at the right corner you'll get format chart area. Here you'll go for the fill section and select no fill. In the border section you'll do no line and you have got your perfect result here. Now right click on the blue portion only. Here in the format data point section you'll go for the fill and line section. In the fill and line section you'll go for the fill where you'll select no fill and in the border section you'll select no line. After that, you'll go for the orange section only. 
here you'll go for fill and line option in this section you'll go for the solid fill here you'll select the color as white and in the transparency section you'll move on to the 15 percent now you need to reposition the pie chart on the donut in a way so that their centers merge according to each other after proper iteration it will look like this now you need to mark them also to mark them at first you'll go for the k2 cell where you will try to get the marking of the house rent so select the b5 and click the enter button after that you will again use the equal sign and get the reference of d5 if you click the enter button then you've get the result to look attractive you'll go for the home tab and here in the font section you'll go for the text section the font color you will choose the red color and now you'll go for the font size you'll select the font size according to your wish now change the font color to get the same result for this section also so that's how you can easily create 3d donut chart in excel so that's it for today you can follow these steps accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this